Hello and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the second order PD with constant coefficients. How to solve these PD, right? So now, first of all, let us try to understand that what is the second order linear PD in two variables with constant coefficients, right? So if you check a homogeneous linear PD with constant coefficient, A0, del nz by del xn plus a1 del nz by del xn minus 1 del y plus so on an del nz by del y n is equal to f of x comma y. This linear PD, right? So the How do we convert this into a symbolic form? We convert this into a symbolic form by substituting del by del x equal to capital D and del by del y equal to D dash. So you can see that the above equation 1 becomes A0 dn plus A1 dn minus 1 D dash plus so on an D dash n z is equal to f of x y. So this is a function in D and D dash. So we are replacing this with f of d comma d dash z is equal to f of x comma y. Right now, so this was a standard PD, right? So how to calculate the complementary solution? So to calculate the complementary function, we will put the right hand side term equal to zero, and whatever solution we get, that solution is termed as the complementary solution, right? Now. When your right hand side term that is f of x comma y, capital F of x comma y is a non-zero term, that will give rise to the particular solution. So how do we calculate the particular solution? It is all sometimes also known as particular integral. So particular integral or particular solution is calculated as f of x comma y because we are getting a function in d d dash into z is equal to f of x comma y. So z comes out to be 1 by f of d comma d dash into f of x comma. So that becomes our pi. And how do we get the constant? Okay. So now we are in the position to find out the complementary function. So how do we calculate the complementary function? We first from the general second order PD, we convert it into an auxiliary equation by putting del by del x equal to capital D and del by del y equal to capital D dash. Sometimes you might follow the notation del by del x is equivalent to dx and del by del y is equivalent to d. So it's one and the same thing. So once you convert it into this form, we can remove the z and we can write the auxiliary equation as a0 d square plus a1 d d dash plus a2 d dash square is equal to 0. So now, d square plus d dash equal to 1. So by putting this, we will get a0 m square plus a1 m plus a2 is equal to 0. Now, from this algebraic equation, we According to the roots, we will find out the solution. So, right. Then the second case is when the roots are equal. So if the roots are equal, then the complementary function will be f1 y plus mx plus x times f2 y plus m. So the factors would be same. So with the second factor, we will multiply the term x. Right. So now let us try to solve certain questions. So we need to solve d square minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash square into z is equal to 0. Now how to solve it? So First of all, what is the auxiliary equation? The auxiliary equation is d square 
minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash squared is equal to 0. So let's put d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. So we get m square minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. So now the factors are m square minus 3m minus 2m plus 6 is equal to 0. So we can take out m common m minus 3 minus 2 common m minus 3. So we get two factors that is m minus 3 and m minus 2. Right. So from here the roots become 3 and 2. The roots are distinct. So the solution will become the complementary solution is f1 y plus m1x. So it will become 3x plus f2 y plus m2x that is 2. Right. So this is how we will solve the equation. So it doesn't matter whether you are writing the roots 2 or 3 or 3 or 2. The orientation doesn't matter. Right. So now let's move on to the next question. So we need to solve del square z by del x square minus 4 times del square z by del x del y plus 4 times del square z by del y square equal to 0. So the first step is let's convert this partial differential equation into symbolic form. So this will get converted into d square z minus 4 d d dash z plus 4 d dash square z is equal to 0. So we can take out z common. So we will have d square minus 4 d d dash plus 4 d dash square into z is equal to 0. Right. And from here, we convert this into algebraic expression by putting d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. So we get m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. That gives rise to two equal roots that is 2 comma 2. So what is the solution? The complete solution, sorry, the general, uh, the complementary solution becomes f1 y plus 2x plus x times f2 y plus 2. Right? So now... You can try these problems. So in case you get imaginary roots, so there you will simply suppose your m comes out to be alpha plus minus iota beta. So you will write the solution as f1y plus alpha plus iota beta x plus f2 alpha y plus alpha minus iota beta so you will simply replace m1 and m2 with the imaginary right so do try these problems and let me know if you are having if you are facing any difficulty in these questions right and if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video right so thank you for listening to me and do let me know in the comment section whether you were able to solve the questions right have a nice day.